my friend, and welcome to workout 25. Uh, this workout is going to be a repeat of one we did four days ago, uh, really building the foundation and improving on some of those things that we did that are so important for this next phase that we're heading into. So let's begin on our stomach. If you recall, we're going to do those prone reaches, right? So <clears throat> in this position, we're going to lay down and make an X, okay, on the ground with our arms and legs, okay, right here. And what we're going to do is just reach up this way and then back down, reach up the other way. Nice and gentle. So important to have this movement. Remember, this is how you first turned over when you were a baby. One of the first most primordial movement patterns you did, and you may have forgotten how to do it. You may have been sitting so long that you're a bit stuck and can't do it anymore. But this is your time to remember how to do it. To open up your body to free those restrictions and do it again. That's what you can do. Nice and calm. Turning, looking at the hand, always looking at the hand. You can take it even behind your body if you can, even better if you do. How far can you go back? Remember, eventually you can even roll over if you like. We'll get to that, maybe. Just a few more here. Great way to open up that upper body. Free all those restrictions. Strengthen up all those muscles that are so weak and neglected. Freeing the shoulder. All right, I'm moving forward here. <laughs> okay, good. Take your time and rest. Come to kneeling position. Okay, so what we're going to do, again, is three rounds of that bridge with the reach. We're kind of reaching across in that 45 degree angle when we bridge up, right? Bridge up and reach. You want to again look at the hand, right? So we're going to do that. And we're going to pair it with those tucks where we go from arms and legs straight to this position here. Okay, flat back, Toy toes pointed, hands just off the ground. Working on that hollow position, strong core, okay? So get ready in the bridge position. We're going to begin in five seconds. Or not. <laughs> Starting the session. Now five seconds. Okay, here we go. Bridging up. Work. Reaching. Bridging up. Reaching. Remember to still get higher in the bridge. Squeeze your butt at the top as you rotate. And really get as much as you can out of the movement. Reach. Good. Reach. Good. Reach. All right. Yes. Here we go with the tucks. These burn, don't they? In a good kind of way. Arms and legs straight. Coming up. It's kind of like a super sit up. Right? Hold this position. Hands just above the ground. Toes pointed. Flat back. You may not get all 30 seconds, that's okay. Just do the best you can. Do the best you can. Spend as much time as you can during the 30 seconds in this position. Just do your best. Always doing your best. And switching back to bridges. Here we go, here we go. Okay, here we go. And up, rotate. Good. Up. Rotate. Good. Up. Rotate. Up. Rotate. Remember to kind of work your way up and down the spine like we do. Still tilting that pelvis. Not just going straight up. Always working on the pattern. Excellent. Okay. Nice. Now go on to the tuck. Okay, here we go. 
Arms and legs straight. Coming up. Tight. Flat back. Pointed toes. Hands just off the ground. Elbows straight. Relaxed face. Strong core. Squeeze everything in your pelvis. Holding it like you have to go to the restroom. Squeeze every bit of muscles down there. Nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, good. Nice. Going into the last round. Excellent. Excellent. Here we go. Bridging up with a reach. Back down. Bridging up with a reach. Back down. Bridging up with a reach. Back down. There are no faces. Breathe easy. Bridging up with a reach. Back down. Bridging up with a reach. Back down. Bridging up with a reach. Back down. Rest. Excellent. Here we go. And up. Good. Elbows straight. Elbows straight. Flat back. Hands off the ground. Toes pointed. Flat back. Tight stomach. Squeeze the pelvis. Hold it like you have to go to the restroom. Squeeze everything down there. No faces. Breathe. Be here as long as you can. Almost done. Whew. And we're done. How about that? Be real gentle. Come on up. Come into our cool down here. Today we're going to come back to that hip flexor stretch. Remember, stretching the psoas is so important because our hips are always flexed. Okay? So real gentle. Come in this kneeling position here. Okay? One leg forward. Remember what we're going to do. Squeeze the butt, right? Put your knee on a pillow if you need to, get nice and comfortable. Hold yourself to a bed or a table or a chair if you need to to support yourself. All right, but get nice tall in this kneeling position first, right? 90 degrees, 90 degrees, okay? First thing we're gonna do is squeeze the butt and translate forward, okay? You're gonna feel a stretch right in here. Keep the butt squeezed. Stretching the hip flexors, okay? Right there. Squeezing that butt sets the pelvis, prevents it from anteriorly rotating. We set it. Neutral forces the stretch on the side here. You can feel it, can't you? Stretching that entire psoas muscle. Feels like it's the top part of the quad. But go deeper, right? Squeeze the butt and go deeper. Squeeze the butt and go deeper. Breathe. No faces. Breathe. Strong. Kneeling position so powerful. Must get comfortable with a kneeling position. Good. Breathe. 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 Good. Coming to the end here, and we're going to switch. Same thing on the other side, okay? This time I'm going to face you. So you can kind of see it from another angle, okay? Right here. Support yourself if you need to. Squeeze the butt back here. Move forward, okay? See how I'm not shifting to the side? I'm not angling myself. Just translating forward, I'm straight. Feeling it right in here. That psoas muscle attaches from your spine down to your femur, right? It's always flexed when we're sitting all the time and it shortens, and when it's shortened, it pulls on your spine, causes you to overarch, so it causes a lot of back pain. So it's really important that we stretch it consistently. Really open it up. None of this stuff is gonna be fixed in a day with one stretch, with one routine. So I would do six months of consistency, discipline. Discipline equals freedom. Remember that, consistency with discipline. Freedom from pain, freedom from disease, consistently being disciplined about the foods that you eat, consistently being disciplined 
about the movement that you put in your body, consistently being disciplined about what thoughts you're thinking, what are your inputs, what are you listening to, what are you reading, what are you watching on TV. Being disciplined about the people you surround yourself with. Are they saying words of encouragement? Are they putting you down? You choose who you hang out with. You are the responsible one, not the victim. You're the creator of your life. Yep. Good. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And real gently come back and get comfortable. Okay. How about that? So hopefully you're, you're feeling stronger with that workout from the one before. We're going to come back and do it again. Uh, but that's such a powerful workout for freeing up your entire body and uh, really getting more rotation. And, you know, especially in the, in the upper part of the spine. Um, really important. So you're doing amazing. Amazing job for Workout 25. Have a great rest day tomorrow. I'll see you for Workout 26. Okay, bye-bye.